showing, I'm going to be actually reviewing uh, an email app for Windows, any Windows, and I think it can work on Mac or not. I don't think so though. It's uh, called Mozilla Thunderbird. Same so make this Firefox in that browser. The icon will usually look like that a blue like phoenix like bird or something that drawn a message. Icon. And this is what it looks like in my dock if I change the icon. I'll go ahead and open that up. This is a great application for Windows. Uh, I use it all the time for my emails. But I'm not using my iPod type to do that them all. It's uh, very easy uh, to get your emails on. My only concern is it takes a little bit longer than I would like to get the emails. And that takes around up to five minutes at least. After it's sent, it takes longer than it would instead of going to gmail.com. But it's okay, because usually you don't need it right away. And if you need it right away, you just open up your internet and type in gmail.com. Yeah, right there. Click me right there. Read that right now, I know I'm red. Messages. It's much better, in my opinion, than Microsoft Outlook. That Outlook takes probably longer. And I don't really like how it looks on here for it. But that's my opinion. I can have that set up. And it's much better than Windows Mail, in my opinion. Windows Mail is just a little bit hard to set up. You have to get all your pop threes and everything set up for your incoming and outgoing emails. With Thunderbird, it's especially easier with the email account. You just go under Edit Properties, Edit Properties, Add Account, Enter it in Email. You can name your email address, and then next, then you'll do something, I think it is, and you can then choose to save your password or keep your password, and enter it in every time. I have it saved because it's easier for me to just load it right up and go right into my inbox and see it all, What whatever you want. The only bad part was five minutes at most to get emails after it's been sent. But that's not that big of a deal. And the other thing I don't like about it is it this concerns Windows XP that it doesn't look as good on XP in my opinion. It looks really bad. But I like how it looks on uh Windows Vista. It looks a little different in my opinion. Neither up top and just easy to get on but everything right now for Windows Vista is looking really nice in my opinion but that's your choice and that's really all I have to say about Mozilla Thunderbird it's a great application go check it out at mozilla.com and uh, search it in there or look under products I'll do it right now show you Type in Mozilla.com. You get it and it says Thunderbird enjoys safe, fast, and easy email. Mozilla style. And it takes free download and download it. Uh, and it is available for the Mac. And, uh, I'm not sure why because the mail theme that the mail application that comes with the Mac is great to use too, but that's my opinion. I've only seen that a couple of times now. Guys, features, everything. I only have a bunch of emails that you don't need like any trash. You can just click Control A and click the delete button on your keyboard and it gets rid of all your emails, which is a great thing I think. 
and just exit out when you're done. I you know, like saving your files or anything. And when you're ready to email, it comes up like this. And I'll say it to myself, that guy, and I'm here at gmail.com. Type in my uh, subject. Type in Mozilla Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunder. Bird is a great application. It's like a great app for Windows. Click send. You have to enter your password. That's why I didn't run my password up. Okay, I'll try to do this, but choose that password speaker. So you are tired of that kind of thing. Make sense. So you choose get mail, get all the messages, or whichever, for both accounts or just one account. There you go. And now it's done it quickly. Inbox. And so it's on the very good app, app for Windows. And that's all I really got to say about it. It's a good application. You should really check it out. And keep tuning in to my videos. Okay, goodbye. And see you next time.